You always tell them to open entrances because there will be a random enemy hanging around. Level 3! The one that has everybody's favorite symbol. Alright, I guess we haven't mentioned the, uh, the maps of the dungeons also have, like, they're shaped after things. Yeah, I think it's religious symbols. The first one was like a bird, the eagle. I thought the first one was a genie lamp. It's apparently an eagle. I thought it was like supposed to be some sort of bird. But I guess an eagle, I guess what they prefer to it as. Yeah, when I looked at it, I thought it was a magic lamp. The, present, the previous one was a crescent moon. This one you'll see once we get to our freaking. Yeah, the most map. infamous symbol of them all. You know, it's supposed to be a good symbol. It was. Oh, and by the way, here are Dark Nuts. They're vulnerable to freaking bow and arrows as well as your boomerang. So I use bombs or stab them back. So you don't want to waste all your bombs on them, but these are usually people's most hated enemy in this Zelda game. Honestly, <laughs> I have another I hate more. Nah, I usually hear the other one more that people hate. You know the one. The one that strips you of your things? Or no. the magic one? The magic Wizards. The magic ones, gotcha. Yep. I hate them so much. Freaking wizards. Yeah, they're never my least favorite of this game. I fucking hate them. Oh, cool, thanks. This is beginning of the dungeon starting to get a little complicated. I start actually having you start to explore more things. You actually start needing to use your keys now. You <laughs> have six keys! I don't want to use my keys! <laughs> What's the point of having them? What are you like, Luigi, hoard all the fucking keys yourself? <laughs> you fucking... Hoard nothing but skeleton keys. I used to unlock every single door! Um, Luigi... I've become the master of unlocking! I don't think that's how it works, Luigi. God damn it, bro. You're an embarrassment. Oh, another key, don't mind what I do. Oh yeah, this dungeon introduces bubbles. Run and then you temporarily use your sword stabbing. Hey, at least it's better than the second quest. We have the red ones that get rid of your sword swing permanently. Oh <laughs> god, don't remind me. And you have to get the blue ones to get it back. You know what would be even worse? If they damaged you. Oh, oh nice! God. Damn, I can't how good bombs are against dark nuts. Yeah, that's why I like using bombs. Problem is, you gotta you got the mercy of these guys being like, yeah, do I feel like walking into one? Or I just want to waste your time to be a dick. I just wanted to make sure you knew you could stab him. I was hoping you didn't think you only had to kill him with bombs. He was like, that's so wasteful. It worked, but yes. Thank you. And it's like, I like using the bombs because they're effective. Usually. Yep, usually. Also, here we go. One of the most useful items we'll get in this game. Believe it or not, at least for exploration's sake. The raft! Ah, love the raft. And now that, we can do this dungeon. I don't need to worry about shit. Yep, so let's move on. I probably should go get the map, but we'll probably get it later. Yeah, you'll probably find it on your way. You see a general direction where the uh, end is. So just follow that path. We'll be good. Yeah. I'll say, though, there's one thing I hate more than anything else about the newest Zelda games. The dungeons. They're awful. Like... Yeah, that's the biggest thing I was afraid of. Tears of the Kingdom did better with it, but still basically the same thing. Navigate this thing to get to these five spots to open the way to the core of this place, or whatever. Cool. So glad I went out of my way to get uh, these spots to get to the boss. Oh, great. Just... They make you impl they make you use the, uh... Yep, there you go. Push the block. Make you use the uh, partner who's like big for that region. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? Maybe. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. Ooh, free key! We came this way to get another key. Yay? <laughs> hey, it's one less key I have to spend effort trying to get. Oh, I don't need keys anymore after Dungeon Egg. Hey, the more keys we have now, the user can be on us later. Then again, the cool thing about the Zelda Dungeon Guide, they do actually have guides for two different methods. One, you go through the game with the magical key, or one, you go through without it. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, it's nice, because I mean, you do technically have all the keys you need. You do get more keys in the later dungeons of the game, even once you get Actually, that... I'm curious about something. May as well check it, but I don't think there's anything there. 
I don't reveal everything, but I didn't actually look at that. Didn't think so, but I think the map is anyway. to the room to your right, though. Yep. No, you're Manji. Dun dun dun. Just a reminder: people gotta know that the symbol means peace. Yeah, and was Buddhist? I want to say. Yeah, I believe so. In Japanese culture, it's still seen as a gen generally good thing. It's only America and a lot of other European countries that have a problem with it. Again, for obvious a lot of them got directly involved with those that use it as a symbol. Yeah. Yeah, some people can misuse some symbols in stupid ways. Like, I mean, someone can always take a symbol and... When it's used for something good, most people usually don't pay attention to it, but when it's used for bad, or when there's bad connotations attached to it, everybody usually knows. I, mean, I saw a video basically... You know how stupid some younger people can be nowadays. Alright, by the way, here's this fucking boss. Use a ball on it, you kill it extremely easily to get it right in the center. Otherwise, you may have to try stabbing it in its mouth. First, before I do that, let me just check. I was gonna say, I thought you were gonna grab that money. <laughs> yeah, I went in and I saw the rupee as I walked in. I'm like, oh crap. Hang on for a sec. I didn't realize I actually got money from this. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of the stupid things I saw were like younger kids, like apparently some kids are getting these things all like Generation Z tattoos. Basically, I have like a Z. It's like a Z, it's got like a mark in the middle of it. But he's like, ooh, it's Gen Z, it's cool. You know what's really upsetting about it? What? It happens to look a lot like the, uh, sim it happens to look like a lot like one of the symbols used for one of the, uh, one of the parts of the, uh, Nazi army. Oh, fun. That's cool. I love somebody commenting and was like, Oh no, now people think my tattoos are related to Gen Z. Like, wait, wait a minute, what? <laughs> oh god. Uh, sometimes the internet can be fun though. Yeah. But yeah, frickin'... I'm not sure how to feel about all this. I just usually just... Like I said, I isolate myself in my own corner for reasons. Hey, hey, all power to you, man. Look, social media, as far as I'm concerned, seems to have caused people to kind of shift in a way that's just... You know, what was it again? North, West... North, West, South, West. You only need to do this in second quest, but hey, if you want to get this area early first quest, why the hell not? Yep, West is to the left. And kill all the enemies so they won't respawn, thankfully. Otherwise, you gotta go East to get out of here. I chose violence, and this is my reward. Welcome to Lionel Country! Here's your way to get to the graveyard early. And the question becomes, do I have enough to get that? I don't think I do. No. You need 12 hearts, I think, to get the, uh... I think you need 12 hearts to get the, uh... Other thing. Yeah, the other sword, yeah. So for now, I should probably head back. I'll waste my time here. But... Alright, I'm gonna get my way out. Yeah, you could take the power bracelet, though. Now, where's that item? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, just go to the right over there. Just go to the right and just keep on the path. Here? Yep. Upstairs? Or follow a line up mm, Nope. Because that's where the dungeon six is. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> oh, God! I don't even think I can do it. If it was level 5, at least you could possibly try to delve in early to get fucking the bomb expansion. But you can't afford. I wouldn't even worry about it. Yeah, like I said, you have to come here in second quest early. That's a bunch of a dick. The friggin' second quest is. You have to come here to get to the first dungeon! Oh, fun! Actually, I think you might technically need to get to the second dungeon. So it's but in still. one of these? Um, go to the one to your right. Yep, go up there. Keep going to the right. And then, on the very most right top statue. The power bracelet! You got the croissant! Oh, great. Now you push boulders! Link getting his French on. I don't think you want to go this way yet. Because this is basically Death Mountain. I don't think you want to be here yet. No surprise, so I'm gonna... That's a potion place, I think. 
try and find my way out of here. I guess we can technically go this way. I'm just trying to find my way out of here, man. Yeah, can't believe you. We could also get technically get another heart container. We gotta get all the way to the right before that. Ah, shit. Well, I'm stuck. Go to the right item. All oh, right. Right. I'm mixing up the step ladder. That's the useful item. Yep, raft. That's is... is the next dungeon. Raft is useful for certain things. Yeah, raft is. You need something very particular. Step ladder is the one that. Yep. It makes the question: Can I get out of here from here? I don't think so, but I'm gonna check anyway. I think you can. Watch out for the frickin' falling meatballs. They're so messy. They're everywhere! Well, I technically could. Oh, yeah, there's a way down the stairs from up here. I guess you could, yeah. Oh, Death Mountain. Love this place. Well, I gotta say, it's kinda weird they have these rooms sound form. Like, they look like, like sound waves. Like when you record a sound wave, that's kind of what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it does. I can see that. Go yeah. that way! Alright, so we can't go that way. Of course, it would be, would be too easy. I wonder if it's the main thing, sound, sound bite or whatever. Hmm. Maybe. I heard you looked into that. Oh crap, got it by one. My life is over. I can see my flash flag. Oh god damn. I need it. God, stop screaming me! Yeah, good thing you have the fucking blue mail. They do one hard damage. You used to do two. Yeah. There's no point going this way yet, by the way. Oh, you could bomb one of these to reveal a thing. Might be the other rock. Hello? At least you're getting assistance. Let's go inside. There's gotta be a great item in there, right? Hell my way, Lionel. Oh, it's level nine. Charge! Okay. Even if you wanted to do it, you can't. You need certain things to be able to have. You need chance. all the other eight Triforce shards. Of course, everyone revives as soon as I go in. Yep. Thanks. Yep. You go. You go past the first room. The old man comes in. He's like, "Only those that require the Triforce oh. can progress." That's actually nice to know. Yeah. Medicine place nearby here. Yeah, which is nice. And you can survive all the Lionels. I was like, you think this is a dickish location for the fucking last dungeon? You can see where it is in Second Quest. I've seen you play through Second Quest. Yep, I know literally that the most upper left portion of the map. In like the waterfall or something? No, it's just a, there's like a weird little like small walkway at the very upper left corner of the map. It's there. I got fun way. And around that area is where the paper is. You need po to get potions. Fun! Oh. I need to find a way out of here. I know where to go. Just keep going to the left. Remember, we have the power bracelet now. Left? Yep. Keep going left. Let's see. I'm hoping you figured this part out because this would be a lot easier for you. Not this way either. And I think I'm trying to remember where it is. I think I don't know what I see it. I just need to see Get over there. I hope you discover this in your own playthrough, because otherwise this would make things a lot better for you if you didn't before. Push one of those. Stairs! Take any road you want! Except the middle one! You got a warp point! And actually we're pretty close to where the dungeon is too. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. You remember that river is towards where the uh, blue mail shop was? Yep. You wanna go there. So yeah, once you have a power bracelet, you can basically warp your way across the map. You can also push some things out of the way. You can also choose to go very far to the right if you wanted to get a frickin' uh, car container now. But honestly, I like the guards until we get the step ladder together. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I'd rather wait it out for that. Yep. Just go to the left, you can make your way over to that river for the frickin'. Yeah, I'm trying sure to remember, where's that raft place? It's like all the way to the right. Yeah, the thing with the raft would be all the way to the right. You want to get that hard container now? I was just trying to get to the... Wait. Is it on the way? Oh, wait. You're going for the dungeon or are you going for the hard container? Which one is closer at this point? Uh, it would be the hard container. Just keep going as far to the right as you can. Might want to go south and then right from here. Yeah, I think it'll be a faster way for you to get over there. Or not. 
Go sell the gator, then keep going right. God damn it! At least I'm getting money, I guess. But as much good as it is now. Yep. Oh, he's got the very bottom of the map again. And... Not even bad we're down here. Yeah, basically just stay on the outside of the map. Just basically follow the beaches. And eventually you will see the raft path to get you to the hard container. And then it'll be good to go. Ow! That almost hurt. It did almost hurt! It's so weird, they tend to have quarter hearts in this game, but it doesn't really reflect in the heart, yeah. heart mural. Like I said, stay along the beaches. Wait. Just keep going north. I'm trying to think. No. Like I said, it would have been better if we had the stepladder first. But since we're already here. Just keep going north. Then yeah, when you come back here, we'll get the step ladder for that! Yeah, that's why I was trying to make my way to the dungeon for you know, whatever. But you said which one was closer, so I directed you to here. Since we were already on the right side of the map anyway. Oh, hey, it's you! Be sure to take this potion, it's really good for air! I already have one, you bum. <laughs> it's not like I can carry four of them. I feel bad for anybody who fucking takes the potion. Instead of a heart. God! I wanna go again! <laughs> I like that. Now we just gotta wander a good bit to the left. Oh, now I oh now I took damage. Now I'm gonna push down everyone. Now I'll kill everything. Dun, dun, violence. I love violence. Keeps a man alive. You never truly feel alive until oh you commit violence. Like, what? Never felt alive until I killed a man. Okay, what are you guys on? <laughs> Where can I find? You? In the depths of hell. The eighth circle of hell. I didn't think I was able to get the Mega Man X7. I needed that. We are definitely going the wrong way now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. This map is wild. I love not being able to see where I'm going. Just keep going to the left. Literally just keep going to the left. We don't need to worry about going south for a while, just keep going to the left. Curse, is my, curse my obsession with money. I mean, everybody loves money. I'll say another cool thing about Legend of Zelda, I don't know if you'll like the thing, like, how they're able to, like, save storage space on the cartridge with, like, how they managed to fit all the dungeons in the game. Yeah. Wait, actually, I know I know. It's, it's like... like so they did some interesting trick with the software or something? Yeah, basically, like, all the map's data is stored in, like, a on a separate thing, I think. And basically, like, all the maps of the game are combined into, like, one whole giant map. Huh. And it's, like, fit them all in such a way that, like, fit, like, the space of the cartridge perfectly. How are, like, the map data worked? Yeah, you probably want to go south now. I forget exactly what it was. It, it's, like, it's something pretty neat, like, how they, like, managed to make use of the storage space so it didn't, like... They made, basically they took like optimal use of the cartridge at the time for the NES. Ah, uh, good old limitation reading creativity, I guess. Yep. If that works. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cool how some people use limitations to their advantage. Is it here or? Keep going. Just follow along the river. You'll notice it once you go south. And go back to the left again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way. Far she blows! Woohoo! Level 4! Now time for things to suck. Yeah, this is where the dungeon's starting to get a little complicated. But we have five extra keys, so we should be in relatively good shape. Everything will die immediately with one stab. Oh, even more keys. keys! If I max out nine keys, I'm gonna be incredibly pissed. Eh, not like it'll really matter that much. Hey, this dungeon is kind of straightforward, thankfully, so. I wouldn't really worry about this one. That being said, though, there is a tough boss at the end of it. I do have blue mail and a decent amount of heart, so I'm not afraid to face it. 
Yep, the comms will be back in the key room over there if you care about it. May as well. I got seven keys right now. Yeah, we do have plenty. And you did just get another key, technically, so... Oh, man, I hate these things. Until you get a magical sword, that's what this they freaking do. They don't technically die in one shot. So they freaking just run into a wall and if you stab them, they get split off. Oh, yeah! Dark rooms start becoming a thing! How do you get through this door, you may wonder? Here's the fun thing. You don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is then he has to to deal with it. <laughs> yep. This is why this game sucks. Yep, just use a candle, you can light up dark rooms. So, yep, not only can they burn down bushes, they can also wait your way through here, so... Hopefully, at least, we have the candle before this dungeon. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain. I'm trying to remember, do you have to buy the red, um, candle upgrade? Nope, that's a dungeon item. Alright. I think it's... I want to say it's dungeon 7. I think it's level 7. Alright. But well, we won't know for sure until we get there. I don't remember that much. I just know some general layouts of where items are. That's really all I know. Time for me to make my way forward. There was no item in there, so you're probably better off just getting rid of them like that, or ignoring them, rather. It's always good to know where all the items are, because these places can be quite the maze, especially later on. Just wait till level 9. <laughs> oh, level 9 is fun. We're gonna have to go to the key door, by the way. Because we can't cross that water. But we're close to where you can get a thing to help us cross that water. Also, don't go in that key door, it's a waste of time. Just letting you know now. Yep. I was gonna go into the key door, I wanted to choose violence first. <laughs> Always with violence? Yes. They deserve it, man. What do you want me to say? Oh, the light wakes have been the review! Yep. Yep. So, Blake Wakes! Basically, they'll, you'll get caught in them, and then, well, if you're in them for too long, you'll lose your magical shield. I also want to say that you'll damage you over time. But yep, do not get caught up in them. Because of the bubbles, if you lose your ability to swing your sword, well, yep, you can get caught and lose your magical shield. I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world, you just have to buy another one, but it still sucks. It's an inconvenience. Yep. God, these pancakes are so threatening. I'm getting killed with the fucking syrupy goodness that is the like like. I didn't even need to choose Vials, but I did it anyway. That was another thing I hated about Tears of the Kingdom. They had like likes back, they didn't even steal your items. They're just kind of there? Yeah. There's an enemy that hangs on a wall and you basically shoot its weak point when it opens its mouth. I can basically just go on a rant on the lot. A lot of the things I liked and did like about Tears of the Kingdom I really wanted. I have the feeling that there's more that you dislike as opposed to liking. You know, I like it more than Breath of the Wild at the very least. Now it feels like they executed things a lot better. Would it be wrong for me to spoil the final boss of the game at this point? How long has the game been out? Uh, since May. I'd say maybe give it till the end of the year, probably. Damn it! Yeah, fair point. It's Ganondorf, though! I mean, we already know that! Just reading the trailers, well, I, you know I, that. I, I mean, if but you I, I, won't, I won't reveal, like, any twist that happened through what Ganondorf does, but yeah! I'm not really sure what to make of all of it, to be honest. Hey, I'll say it's better than fucking Calamity Ganon. Yeah. <laughs> Calamity, it's like the dumbest one! Or, oh, it's the essence of the evil Demon King! Um, okay. So, evil in the air. That is the great threat of Breath of the Wild. Oof. Yeah, that, that's fucking legendary. A legendary enemy, of course. How could I ever forget an enemy like that? Ah, uh, good old waste of time here. It's a snake. This fight's gonna be big boss? God damn it. Well, I was gonna say it's a snake-like thing, but not really. Oh yeah, by the way, some boss will reappear as many bosses throughout the dungeon. Yep, get used to that being a thing. Yep. And sometimes there's straight up harder versions of the boss you fought fought before. So just be ready. No item drops or anything. Hello! 
Look, it's the waterfall! Yeah, thanks. Made me go to your fucking wife to get info how to get to level 5. Eh, it's actually a useful thing to know right now, I guess. Can't see shit! Let there be light. I, also, I guess I did like the fusion mechanic. Because it did actually allow you to have like a thing where like strengthening your weapons. Hmm. Other than just having the weapon. It also helped the durability issue sometimes. But at the end of the day, so many things are just so limited in what you have, it just gets kind of annoying. Yeah. Like, the whole durability thing still pisses a lot of people off. I don't exactly hate it, but sometimes it's just extremely inconvenient. Like, I love how the Master Sword has to go away for 10 minutes after I hit, like, 20 enemies with it. Yeah, that's all. It's a legendary something. weapon! Like, that should be something that just does not lose durability. Yeah. If there's a way to, like, increase the power, that's something I would, wouldn't argue against, but... You can never get rid of its durability. I probably should be careful. You gotta use a potion. Not a bad idea. Here is Gleok! Oh, and I will say, Gleok in the Tears of the Kingdom. Oh god, those things suck. One well, of the only things actually were legitimately really fucking hard. After you kill one of the heads, it will fly around. Yeah, I have your potion out. Or like, uh, do I have to put it on for it to work, or? You have to press, you have to press B when it's in your inventory. I'm yep. not gonna take any chances. Just make sure you unequip it, so because you, you do not want to accidentally reuse it again. Okay, we're good. And before we I didn't need it, so good. I think we did it. Yep. And unfortunately, you can't buy a blue to basically build a blue up to red. Nope. You have to buy a red to have two uses. Otherwise, blue pose is just one use. But hey, at the very least, it's better to buy two than one. So. Yeah, we do have a lot of money, although the next dungeon we will need 100 rupees for um, uh, an upgrade. 